Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. In the last update, the storage monitor has been added to the game. You can use it on big boxes or on your tool cupboard in combination with the Rust Plus companion app to see what is going on in your storage. But what I think is more interesting is the fact that it gives out a signal when you take or put something into a box, so we can use that for our trap bases. The problem is hiding the monitor itself. You cannot free place it and it will always be on top of the box. I found a solution and no, it's not this furnace in front of it. Talking about electricity, I'll show you how to wire it all up and also show you why it works. Let's do this. So I'll first show you how I got the monitor hidden like this. I think this is the best way. If you look at the rectangle in the middle of the box, if you have that on the left side, the monitor will be placed close towards you. If you have it on the right side, so rotate it a little bit, you can see it will be away from you. I think you should do it like this. So just place it on a half wall. I think there's no way they can see this and you can still hook all the wires up from the back. This is perfect. Talking about wires, you can now see on screen exactly what I'm using here. Those lights are just from demonstration. You're first going to take your main output and put it onto a switch so you can turn everything on and off. Take that output from the switch, put it onto your splitter, then take the first power from your splitter and hook it up to the monitor. You don't have to pair it with an app for this to work. Take your second output and put it into the memory cell and take your third output and put it into the timer. The timer is just as a reset button for the memory cell. So let's talk about that memory cell. It has two outputs, a inverted output and a normal output, and you can switch back between them. So it's only one of them that's on at one time. If you see that I gave it power, the inverted output will be on by default. And using the buttons on the right, we can switch to the right one. So let's demonstrate this. I'm now going to use the output from the timer and put it on the set. We later want to put it on the reset, but I want to demonstrate it for now. So I'm going to set the duration to one second. And when you see that I give power to the set button, it switches to the right and the left one turns off. But we want to do that when someone takes something from a box and not from the timer. So we have to unhook the timer, just hold right click on it and then take the output from the monitor and put that on the set button. You can see here that I already put the timer on the reset button. So now when I take something or put something in the box, it switches to the right and I can reset it with the timer. And then if someone takes it, you can see I can switch back and forth, but we don't want to do lights. We want to do a door or something like that. So take the normal output, not the inverted one, and hook it up to a door controller. And this way, if you reset it, the door will be closed. And when someone takes something from the box, the door will be open. And you still have the inverted output free to do something else, like have a door open so someone can walk in and then it closes the door they come in through and it opens the one that kills them when they take something. But if you don't need that, something you could also do is take out the splitter and replace it for a electrical branch. So if we do that here, take the output from the switch and put it on the electrical branch instead. We're going to take the normal output and put it onto the memory cell. And we're going to take the branch out and put that on our timer. But then lastly, we, we have to do is hook up our storage monitor still. So we're going to use the inverted power for that. So basically the monitor has inverted power from the memory cell. As soon as someone takes something, it will switch over. So basically turn off the memory cell and you still have the same effect, but you don't have any extra power like you had in the other setup to still do something like open up a door before the trap is even really triggered, which I think is a better way. So I hope you found this useful, either just a way to hide it, the electricity part. I really like the addition of this to the game. I think it adds more to the companion app, which I think is also a really good idea. And just run because people are gonna get you. <laughs> if you like this in any way, please like, subscribe, you know the drill. I'm out. Thank you for watching. Peace.